Kamala Harris has yet to announce a policy platform on her website for president. Harris ho has, however, laid out a detailed economic plan. Part of that includes a $25,000 down payment assistance for first-time home buyers. Let's bring in Nathan Bishop. He's the partner at the LA-based architecture firm Koning Eisenberg. Now the firm's the firm's rather affordable housing project, the Arroyo, was featured in the recently published source book Housing the Nation, Social Equity, Architecture, and the Future of Affordable Housing. Nathan, thanks so much for being with me tonight. Sure thing. Thanks for having me. You know, quality affordable housing it's, uh, that's available to more people. It's such an important issue for me and for all of us. I'm just glad that you guys are bringing it up and raising awareness. Yeah, well, let's talk specifically about this. So this is a $25,000 tax credit for first-time home buyers. Do you think, in all your experience, that this would be effective? Yeah, I mean, it's part of the plan, right? I mean, uh, I think it's part of the plan that Kamala has. I think it's great, but maybe it doesn't go far enough. I mean, the average price of a home in LA County is close to a million dollars this year. So $25,000, only 2.5%. So it may not be enough in some parts of the country to get people enough help with a down payment. You know, I think the national price, average price for a home was like $400,000. So, you know, maybe there's more nuance to the plan that accounts for local markets. With rent so high, it's very difficult for people to save enough money for a down payment. So, not sure the $25,000 credit is enough. Yeah, I mean, to your point, I was looking at the median home price in LA County. It is about a million dollars. If you're going to put down 20% down payment, that's $200,000. On the other hand, to an extra 25,000, that is that could be helpful to, for some Absolutely. people. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, yeah. Okay, is there anything in her policy proposal that has the potential to be effective? Yeah, I mean, she's got an expansion of the low income tax credit for affordable rental housing. I think this part of the plan could potentially have a big impact with getting more people into affordable rental housing. How so? Uh, the federal low income tax credit program is a major source for producing affordable housing and expanding it will help get more people into the housing and have more housing produced. So I think it's a key portion to helping the housing crisis in this country. Yeah, delve a little bit more I into that specific uh, portion of the policy that you think would be helpful? Sure. Well, she's expanding the, the program to um, change some definitions and give some streamlining as well to permitting. There's a bunch of components to expanding that, but it's really a key part of the funding mechanism by which housing gets produced. You know, we do a fair amount of affordable housing here, and uh, all of our nonprofit clients are always depending on uh, TCAC tax credit, which is part of the federal income tax credit program to get the affordable housing produced. Uh, speaking of the Arroyo, I mentioned that you helped build that with your firm in Santa Monica. This is affordable housing in Santa Monica, right on Lincoln Boulevard, 64 units. Uh, what is affordable housing in Santa Monica? What numbers are we talking? Well, so, you know, uh, affordable housing with the tax credit program has to be qualified through AMI. So if it's the average median income in an area, so it's dependent on the dynamics of a, a bigger, bigger set of, um, you know, financial and tax uh, sources. So essentially, I think people are paying around $600, six to $800 per uh, one and two bedrooms around there. Um, but, you know, that book that you uh, pulled up in the front at uh, the beginning of our talk, it does a really good job of laying out the complexities of the history and current state of producing affordable housing in our country. It, it's worth a look because it's a more kind of complex um, situation to get things built okay. and to get them to be affordable. Again, that book is called Housing the Nation. Uh, let me make sure I'm getting this right. Housing the Nation, Social Equity, Architecture, and the Future of Affordable Housing. Of course, this is all a hypothetical conversation because she would need to be elected as president number one, and then it would have to get through Congress. Right now, Cong Congress is split, so we'll see how that works out come November the 5th yeah. or shortly after. All right, yeah, uh, we do no. need to point out that Mr. Trump mentions housing affordability in his policy platform on his website, but does not currently list specific details of those policies. But when he does, Nathan Bishop, we would love to have you back.
happy to do it. You know, I just want to say Kamala's got a step in the right direction. It's not going to be easy, but I think making affordable places to live is part of building that opportunity economy that she's talking about. Okay, Nathan, thank you so much. And to our viewers, speaking of policy, we know that Donald Trump has laid out his no tax on tips policy. We'll talk more about that coming up on Thursday with an economist right here at six o'clock. Nathan, thanks again.